All right, I want to keep this conversation loose. It's been 48 hours-ish since uh, we got the Honor 8 from the launch event up in San Francisco. There's just nothing quite like doing a midnight unboxing video from your hotel room. And I'm still sick as a dog. I picked up something funky coming back from that event. It's all up in my nose right now. But I hard transitioned over to the Honor 8, turning it into my daily driver so we could chew through a review as quickly and efficiently as possible. Just a little inside baseball right quick. We get asked a lot in the comments, in our videos, on PocketNow.com com on social media what's your favorite phone or what's your daily driver and legitimately i have to answer whatever phone i'm reviewing is my daily driver our entire editorial schedule just got kind of a little interrupted once we got our hands on the note 7. when i flew out to new york to meet up with jaime rivera to cover samsung's newest phablet i was in the middle of reviewing the xperia x performance and the axon 7. now the plan was to give jaime the axon 7 and i would finish up the x performance and then we could move on with our lives and start prepping for IFA. That plan got all wibbly wobbly twisty wisty, but we promise you the Axon 7 is getting wrapped up. We will have a review of that phone out shortly. But until all of that gets sorted out, I'm switching over to the Honor 8 and I'm pretty excited about it. Most of us in North America probably know the Honor brand by phones like the Honor 5X. Released earlier this year, this $200 phone received critical acclaim for being such an amazing budget busting device. Now, while we appreciated what Honor brought to the table, if I'm being honest with you folks, I actually liked the Huawei branded phones better. Not really comparing oranges to oranges here, but stepping up to phones like the Huawei GX8. Yes, it's a more expensive device, but every little attention to detail piece of this phone I liked better than its Honor counterpart. If you've been following the reviews on this channel, especially the real camera reviews, you would know that I personally fell in love with the Huawei P9 released earlier this year. Of course, notable for these dual camera sensors on the back of the phone and this big Leica badge here by the flash. It was this phone that helped me score a victory against Adam Lane and his Lumia 1020 in our Pocket Now Fireworks Challenge. So I'm flying up to San Francisco. I've seen the flyers for the Honor event. It's two circles next to each other. It looks like an eight or an infinity sign or something like that. I'm thinking maybe what we'll get is some sort of mid-ranger option, something that bridges the gap between the 5X and maybe phones like the GX8, but they're gonna throw that dual camera system on it. It could be really compelling. It could be a fun solution. And then they show off the Honor 8 and it looks very much like the P9. It looks so much like the P9 because it's almost exactly like the P9. So I'll get the nitpicks out of the way first here. Uh, we've got EMUI on tap. I am not a fan of EMUI. It turns your entire Android experience into something more resembling iOS. If I wanted iOS, I would buy an iPhone. So of course, the first thing I did was I threw Nova Launcher on there just so I could get back to my uh, app drawer and that layout. Of course, we do have uh, that issue with the split notification shade. Uh, you know, you just kind of have to live with that. Unless someone has a good option for replacing the notification shade, drop me a comment below this video. Now, the look of this phone is really cool. During the Honor announcement for this device, they detailed that there are 15 layers of glass and there are different diffracting elements to help you carve up light and reflection in really interesting ways. You always have these sort of, they look like spotlights or spot lamps that are sort of streaking through the back panel of your phone. For example, I think the Idol 4S is a very attractive phone. But there's a subtle difference between the way these two glass back devices are playing with reflections. And I think the Honor 8 has a slightly nicer look to it. In fact, the only device that I might compare this to would be some of the newer glass back effects that we see on phones like the Note 7. But if you've been following my videos, you guys would know I'm actually not the biggest fan of glass on the back of phones. I think it looks really cool. Like I want to set it up on a museum stand under museum lighting just because I think it's such a, a great design piece. But I don't know that it's the the most practical material to make the back of a phone out of. First of all, uh, if you saw the uh, the first impressions video and the launch video, it's just a crazy fingerprint magnet. Wiping this phone off on my shirt in between every single shot and I still couldn't keep it from just magnetically attracting smudges from all around its environment. So the Honor folks supplied us with these little plastic clear clip-on back plates and that's what my Honor 8's gonna live in. But we've also gotten a number of comments from people saying that they think the P9 is the more attractive device. And there is something to be said for the glass cutout window, that white accent, the metal phone body. I can totally understand why people would be of differing opinions as to which device they think is more attractive. But I do have to commend Honor for making this back glass piece just so simple, it's so clean. We've got this one little break for the fingerprint sensor and then everything else is completely flush 
totally smooth. There's no other break or seam or gap. And that is actually pretty impressive. I mean, it's just blue. That's it. Getting out of the setup process, this thing performs a lot like how we found the P9 performed. That's a very good thing. I don't have a lot of experience with high silicon Kirin processors. This uses the Kirin 950, which as far as I can tell, is just an underclocked version of the Kirin 955 found in the P9. But from all of the numbers that we've been able to generate, from the tests that we've been able to do, I've played a couple games on it, I can't find a significant real world difference. We're talking maybe a 5% difference in benchmarking. And then in real world application, this is one of the few phones that I've done that automatic setup process where it just dumps all of your apps from another device after you kind of like make out with the back of another phone. And it's one of the few that hasn't completely locked up while it's been downloading that huge deluge of app updates. All phones are gonna slow down when you're hitting both data and you're sort of saving information and hitting that CPU to install those new programs. But this phone handled it better than most when doing that initial setup. And this phone posts some of the best multi-core benchmarking numbers I've ever seen. It does lose single core benchmarks against phones powered by a Qualcomm 820, but any app that's taking advantage of that big little octa-core environment that the Kirin provides, you're going to see wonderful performance out of this device. And a quick note about the cameras, again, very exciting to see that this is nearly identical performance to what we found on the Huawei P9. The P9 became something of a backup phone for me while I was out reviewing other devices. It joins a list of phones like the Lumia 1020 and the LG V10. If I knew I was gonna be out shooting photos, this was a phone I wanted to have with me. And now the Honor 8 joins it for the most part, nearly identical, but we do see some differences in the camera app, slightly different layout. Most of those modes are still intact. We still have a full manual control mode, which is phenomenal. Unfortunately, the Honor 8 does not have native raw capture built directly into the supplied camera app. Now, unlike some other manufacturers who shall remain nameless, you can shoot raw photos, you just have to download a third party app if you're in a situation where you feel you really wanna get that raw image captured. And all of the uh, electronic shenanigans that have to be employed to communicate with these two image sensors are handled at a hardware level. So you don't have to worry about using a third party camera app all of that information is still gonna be transferred and raw photos from open camera look nearly identical to raw photos from the P9 and the Huawei camera app. Folks, I gotta say, this is a really happy surprise for me. Not only seeing what Honor was able to do in pulling the P9 hardware over to their youth brand, the Honor for the Brave brand, but also knowing that this is coming out at a $399 price point. I'm gonna spend a couple more days playing with it. I'm gonna try and knock out a review over the weekend. But even from the second and third day impressions, I can already tell you this is more than capable hardware at a great price point, which totally deserves to stand opposite phones like the OnePlus 3 or the Axon 7. That's really exciting territory for a manufacturer to be playing in right now. It's probably the most competitive price point on the market today. And if you can give me something cool to play with in this tier, something unique, well, that just makes my job a lot easier. So folks, be on the lookout for our full review of the Honor 8. I am gonna be doing a few more camera tests just to make sure that all of our results are in line with what we found on the P9. If there are any significant differences, then I'll try and do a separate camera review video, but we might end up just linking back to the P9 camera review if our results are consistently similar with that other phone. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more fun, rambling, video, vloggy discussions on gadgets that are fun to play with. And uh, help us out with some sharing on your favorite social networks. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell. You can catch me on Twitter and Instagram as some gadget guy. And I will catch you all on the next video.